We thank so much the King of Kings for has given us grace to be here. Let's clap for him mightly. Whenever we come in the house of the Lord, it's not our power, but his mercy. 
kubanga fenga abana baba tetusobola kulwanisa bitu ziiza we as children of men we can't fight those things that block us wabulo ye yawangula magombe but he who overcame that Death. We also thank God for the victory of Trump. Because the devil knew that you can't overcome God. When he says yes, it's a yes. Yes, Anati said when someone when Jesus says yes, no one says no. So no So his will came to pass. But you should continue praying. Because people change. They can easily change him. We also have to pray for him. Because he's in air. He, he doesn't have a lot of people supporting him. Besides that of the born again. Let's pray for him. God to give him protection as well that so that he does not change the other thing we're supposed to do we should pray for our nation Uganda because the season we are going into it's not easy it's a season of campaigning the previous campaigns you saw how things went if you feel that you don't want them to, re to repeat themselves go down to your knees and pray and pray for voting as well and the remaining months for the year to end you're supposed to pray closing the, the, the heads because they are awakening so that people should not die as the devil wishes because in these two months the people that are worshipping the devil including the families where we came from they are renewing covenants and where there is a covenant, covenant there is blood so when that blood is shed the demons have to go and kill people so that they can take in blood I told you recently they told us in town Illuminati people change how they sacrifice they walk in on the roadside and they reach where there are many people they pretend like they're getting an handkerchief from and a lot of money for pop a 50 notes, 20 notes and then they assume that they've not seen the money fall even when they call them they don't look behind but there is a woman that says that everyone who picks that money is a sacrifice definitely that's how they do their sacrifices lately you should be vigilant Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other thing, mommy sends the greetings. She loves you. She's still kind of tired. Anytime she will be back here. If you want to send us something, her telephone number is on that. Poster. You can send us some juice. Send anything you feel like, eggs. However, the spirit of the Lord leads you. We are going to the word of the Lord. And the theme is what makes us children of God what makes us children of God hallelujah those that were here in the morning we got a good time 
we came to realize who is the son of God. We all call ourselves children of God, but is it true? Because greeting like praise God doesn't mean that you're a son of God. It's your deeds, your acts that show that you're a child of God. I was thinking as the spirit of the Lord was giving me this word a man was, was produces a child too he tries so much to see that this child has something that resembles him the moment the kid begins to misbehave the man and, and his people begin to doubt the child so the same applies to us the children of God there are things that make us look like God let's go to Matthew 18 from verse 15 Matayo kumina munana olwe kumineta Muganda obwa kukola obubi gendo mbuli ile kwe na yemwe ka bwa kuulira ngofunye muganda o na yewa tawulira twalo omulala nawe oba babiri era kukamwa ka abajulirwa ababiri oba basatu buli kigambo kikakate era bwagana okuulira abo buli le kanisa era bwagana okuulira ne kanisa Abere joli nga munna gwange eromu woza mazima bagamba anti byonna be mulisiba ku nsibirisibwa mukuru era byonna be mulisumulula ku nsi bisumulibwa mukuru haleluya kitafe katonda nze bintu byonna twagala kwebaza ku bechigambo kino kitukuze kiwo mukisa mukama eri amatwaga gendo kiwulira nange go gendo kisa if your brother has done something wrong to you call someone and talk to the brother if he fails to listen call another person so you can be three and when he refuses again to listen take them to the church if he fails to listen let go of him that's what it's called making him a heathen but if you read this bible and continue downwards like they give us freedom to chuck someone chuck someone to hate someone Hallelujah. Amen. But when you go downward, it's not but what it says. Even when you do what the Bible says, bring the first person, second person, and third and third into the church. Even when they've told you that before I go here, the Bible downwards, it changes. That's why I tell you, whenever you're reading the Bible, don't read scriptures only. Read the whole chapter. A chapter to a chapter. So you may understand the pieces. There are people that my time get stuck into the scripture. But the Bible told me that if I take one person and the second and to the church, I should not let I will just let the person be. No, it's not what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I urge you to read to learn to learn to read the Bible. Especially in this world that has different churches. The, the gospel is, is interpreted in different ways. So if you don't read the, the Bible you by your own, you'll end up going astray. Let's continue. The 21st verse, chapter. Verse. 
Awa Petero na jana wa Mugamba ati mukama wange, Muganda wange wanyono onanga, na musonyi wange mirundi emeka, okutuse mirundi musamu. Yesu na Mugamba ati siku gamba ati okutuse mirundi musamu. Na eti okutuse mirundi ensamu, emirundi omusamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, God is so wise. He realized that when he gave you that scripture, you, you get stuck to it. But Peter came and asked that if my brother does something wrong against me, how many times shall I forgive them? And told him 70 times. 70 times times 7. Those that calculated were 470 times. And this world keeps on getting us angry. People around you make you angry. At work they get you angry. Along the roadside they make you angry. Even at church. Even in the clan where you bathroom. So they tell you to forgive 490 times. More than 100 people get to you. Will you be counting every time? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, Jesus is telling us that despite that they, they, they but for our good things of anger because 490 times every person you count 490 times every person 490 times it's impossible what you have to do you, you, for our good things of getting angry Ephesians 4 from 21 downward the Bible Bible says that when we get angry, it should not come to dawn when we are still angry. Meaning that if you get angry in the morning, by the time the sun sets, you, should not, you shouldn't be angry. I told you the people that were here in the morning, I told them that me, I can't do it personally. Saying that, let me get angry for two hours. On the third hour, then I get back to my normal. Or you say that at around five, at 5.45, when the sun is about to set, I saw that I can get back to my normal. It's impossible. Because every time you get angry, anger, anger increases, anger increases. I add it to the other that for good things of getting angry. Because you can't say time for you to get back to normal. It's impossible. For that case, let's say our good things of getting angry because anger causes us not to forgive. You can't forgive someone that you're angry about. The person that you're angry about is the, the person you forgive. Meaning the thing that brings unforgiveness, you should let go of it. Anger, wrath, hate, jealousy, not all those things you should forego because they are things that bring anger to your life hallelujah so that our theme says what makes us children of God what makes us children of God we are going to see it let's continue Matayo kumina munana abiri musatu Wakabaka womu guru, Chevafana is the one omu to Yari Kabaka, Yayaga or Kubaram window Nava Dube. We are so called Kuba and Evamule Tedo, Muguabanje Taranta Kakumi. Nayakuanga Tayarina Chakusasura, Mukama Wenara Giro Kumutun, Danemukazi Wenava, Navy Navy, and Tuyo Navi Alina Vio, a banjari gwe. 
Awo muddu nagwa wansi na musinza nagamba nti mukama wange manja mpola nange ndi kusasula byonna mukama wo muddu oyo na musasira na muta na musonyiwe banja na yo muddu oyo na furuma na sango muddu munne gwe yali abanje dinali e 10 na mukwata na mugwa mu bulago nagamba nti sasule banja lyange awo muddu munne nagwa wansi na mwegairira Gagamba nti manja mpola nange ndi kusasula na atakiriza na yena agenda na muteka mukomera amalo kusasula banja awabaddu bane we balaba we bibadde ne bana kuwala nnyo ne bagenda ne babulira mukama wawe bigambo byonne baddeyo awo mukama we namuita namugamba nti gwo muddu omubi na kusonyiwe banja lililyo na kubanga wanne wanne gairira nawe techikwanide kusasira muddu munno nganze we na kusasira kwe mukama we na musungu walira na muwa kubambwa amalo kusasule banja lyonna gwacho kitanga ali muguru wali bakola we mutasonyi wa mitima jamwe buli muntu muganda we haleluya haleluya kati ya Yesu atwadde chokula bila ku Jesus has given us an example yatwadde cha sosi he gave us the first one muganda wa fumutu wala mkanisa taking our brother to the church na atwane chokubiri kumsonyi we mirundi insamu he gave us a second thing for giving our brothers 70 times 70 na atwane chokula bila ku and he also gave, he has given us another example omusajja go bali babanja sente nyinji a servant who was owed a lot of money and he pleaded and they forgave him but when he found the, the fellow servant whom he was demanding little money he beat him up and took him to prison the people that were around when they were forgiving him they didn't take it so well they bring them around they went and reported them to him to the, to the master and the one who was forgiven initially, was taken back to prison down here he concludes saying so our father in heaven that's how he will do to us who don't want, who don't want to forgive but all of us who are here all, are, all how the church of Christ is we all want to be forgiven isn't it so? but we don't want to forgive I want us to say a little prayer the heavenly father prayer let's begin ngawe mkole kwa mukuru tuwemere ya peyalero tusonyi wokonona akofi ngana soko tusonyi wa abantu onona amina haleluya amen oweri de sala jo sabi have you heard the prayer that you've said awa wasemi wa gambi wate the last phrase what it said tusonyi wokonona akofi ngawe tukole chi forgive our trespasses as we forgive our trespasses Ask your neighbor, is it how you do it? Hallelujah. Amen. Our souls were born, our souls. By giving him the range all the way he should forgive us. That forgive our trespasses. As we forgive those trespasses against us. But our God checks within the heart. We don't lie our God. Whatever you beat him, he checks the heart first and the people that you refuse to forgive are always at heart within your heart so when you say that prayer the God checks the heart first and all the people that you pay to forgive are at heart it, begins, it, it means that you've told him do not forgive me as I have not forgiven those that you sing on my heart that's, that's why religion makes us stupid whenever you say the prayer of our heavenly father it means that you, they always think that you've finished each and everything but there is that one thing that keeps you bound yourself you tell him do not forgive me as I do not forgive others Amen. as we are going into the year of 2025 
I request you as I plead. Open your heart and then let go of all the people that you have. If you want to be forgiven as you've prayed, you should also forgive. Unforgiving, uh, unforgiving is bound. You can't cast out, cast out demons from your life when you're still not created. Because they know very well that you're their member. You've held people at heart. And you tell the devil, I ban, I ban, I ban you with me. Yet you don't forgive. Hallelujah. Amen. For that case, my friend. Do some work in you and forgive people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you're a religion, if you have those people that pray that say that prayer, father, I don't tell you that a prayer is bad. It's a very good prayer. But that line of phrase, you should always teach it to them to understand it. Because forgiving it brings out each and everything that is such at heart. And God comes to sit at your heart. I told people in the morning the Bible says that God does not fully settle in heaven. Neither does he but there is the way he collects himself and he sits at your heart or in your heart so if your heart there are things that are seated there already God cannot sit in your heart you will never cast out demons out of your soul because the, the most powerful person is not within you this is where he sits you, you put people other things there and that's all the, the wiseness of the, of the devil he brings people around you to annoy you and you sit them on your heart so that God fails to get where to sit so that the devil and these demons can beat you the way they want because truth be told we don't have power it's only God that has power to overcome that's why we should make him space where to sit but what the devil does he fills their people he fills their demons and how will, so how will God help you so the devil wants you to he wants you to get tired of born and born you've prayed and given in and then there is nothing changing but the God who is supposed to help you has no where to sit the devil put there his things already Romans 12 Romans 12 from 12 from 14. Musabirenga Baba Yiganya. Musabirenga Sote Mukorimanga. Musanyukirenga Wamuna Baba Sanyuka. Mukabirenga Wamuna Baba Kava. Mlowozenga Wumwe Kana Mweka. Temwe Guru Mizanga. Nayemu Gendenga Nabu Abatari Nabu Kuru. Temubanga Ba Magezi Mumaso Gamwemweka. Temuwala na anga muntu chivi orwe chivi. Mwete gekenga. Eviru unji mmaso gaba antubo na. Kubanga chii nzika. Kulu ilwa mwe. Mutabaganenga na aba antubo na. Temuwala na anga mweka guanga aba agarwa. Na ye wakiri. Musegulirengo usungu. Kubanga chia wandiki wanti. Kuwala na kwangi. Zendi sasura. Bayogira mukama. Na yomu lawe wo. 
Bible ya tugambie. The Bible has told us. Ukiokuona na siku ya fukola na kwa katonda. That vengeance is not ours, vengeance is for God. Kati fetu wako kwa katonda mumtebeye. So we just got out of his seat. Ne tusala woku wala na abantu. And we decided to to Ne tusala woku banyigira. We decided to get annoyed over them. Songa katonda yali noku wala na abantu. Yet that is God's work. Na ife tu amugamba sebo tosobola. We told him boss. Feka tuwe wala ni abantu bafu. Let's do it ourselves. Ah ah icho siki tu it's not right that's how the devil if you're a child of God what you're supposed to do is to pray for those that persecute you we are not meant to to curse the, the Bible has forbidden us from cursing people but most of the born again rejoicing cursing but the more you curse you're causing problems to your soul Psalms 109 yes Psalms 109 Say that someone like wanted to curse. He not rejoice upon asking for a blessing. But the cause the, the curse over wore him like a cloth. It tied around him like a belt. And it entered all his bones inside. So whenever you curse, the curse comes back to you. As we are told that when you point a finger to one, one but all the four fingers are pointing back to you. The same thing to these people that smoke pipes to people. They are first people that don't That's why they don't they don't so you as a child of God for, for our good things of cursing our lips or our mouth is to worship God and bless people those are the two things not abusing not cursing not doing any other thing Jacob, James 1 you should read it you will come to see that James was wondering saying that one mouth is the same thing that you used to, to, to worship God the same thing that you cast others with but even if it's a well of water it cannot bring good water at the same time sour water for that case if someone challenges you you should not quarrel with them you should not curse them when you feel that it's overwhelming you tell the Holy Spirit to give you the grace Holy Spirit bring peace within me so that you don't resemble that person I told that the devil he uses one stone and he hits two birds how does he do it that when they annoy you you get angry and that person who has annoyed you he also has guilt and the other person that, uh, that is angry over him you have guilt so at the end when you all get off when you you all finish in one place there he has used one stone to hit two birds I, how, I come, how I came to understand God there's one, there's one thing that I shall not be the second part of the and also the devil will never see my tears hallelujah because the devil wants so much to see you trying, seeing you in grief there is one kid who was a servant of the devil he got born again and said that the devil at the, at the hour of three he, he puts his demons on parade telling them what to do he says that there are those that he assigns and go and uh, get Naboth angry. You don't allow Naboth to laugh. So the problem is for Naboth to laugh. The demon that has given that mission 
He punishes me. And he tells him. Asking the demon. Why is Naboth laughing? Why is Naboth laughing? So when you come here and, and you're giving the demon the, the Satan laughter. So if you want to get the, the, the devil angry, however much whatever situation rises, laugh. A woman in the morning gave a testimony in the morning laughing. I think those that don't understand it thought that she's mad. But the, it's the, 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 the solo of the devil. It's laughter. It's your laughter. And the laughter of the devil. It's your sorrow or your weeping. So let it go there aside in the name of Jesus. For that case, you should always be happy. Psalms 39, verse 4. Says, Rejoice in the Lord, for he shall give you the desires of your heart. So, all those things that you grieve about, they are nothing. Matthew 6 25 said, you should, you should not be worrying whether what to eat or what to drink. Because however much you worry, there's nothing going to increase about your soul. You can't stand there and give a testimony. Praise the Lord, brethren. Whenever I worry about like I woke up when one, one leg is long. Oh, praise the Lord. When I worried when there was no food, the moment I woke up, I found a bag of money at the doorstep. It, it does not exist. The, the devil is, is taking away your peace. But as, as he decides to take away your peace, you should also take away his peace by rejoicing, dancing, and singing. Hallelujah. But you should not, you shall not get all those. If you have few people you call enemies, you call all your neighbors, all your enemies. They greet you, you don't respond. You just jeer at them. The devil has taken away your peace in that case. And I want to let you know that you're no longer a child of God. You are the devil's side. So for you to be a child of God, you should have a character of God. As the, as the Romans tells us, we should pray for our enemies. We should not cast them. And vengeance is not ours. Vengeance is for God. Do you know that vengeance is so expensive? If you have someone that you want to avenge to, you might even change your route. When they, are there, you, when they are around, you don't want to laugh because you want to show them that you're angry. When you're walking and you find them, your heart explodes. Don't you see that it's expensive? It's you taking your peace away from your soul. Hallelujah. For that case, when God is going to avenge a nation, you as a child of God, you should leave them to him because you can't do anything. You've never seen God do vengeance. The day God will avenge to your enemy, you'll need your knees and tell him, what you've done is enough, please stop there. Because when you've done nothing, you as a person, I told people in the morning service, that even, when the pol even if it's the police, you might check there your case. When they, when they plead so much to him and you go back to the police he goes back to the police they tell them I want to close my case the police tells him this does not belong to you anymore it now belongs to us we are not closing the case it's us that are charging him so the same thing whenever you give your issues to God 
They are out of your hands. It seems that knows how many strokes you will give him, whether 150 strokes or how many. It's up to him. But your vengeance, what do you think does to him? He eats, drinks, and sleeps, and also raises the, the, the legs. So we should get out of the seat of the Lord. Of God. He has said, Vengeance is mine, not yours. Hallelujah. With the, the next person. From twenty. Naye, Omulabe Hallelujah. If you've loved it, clap for it. Have you really loved it? Will you feed your enemy? Will you give your enemy water to drink? Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible has said our enemies we should feed them and quench their thirst. But when we do like that it's like lighting cause of fire on their heads. I want to ask you a question. How many of you have stepped on hot charcoal? How many of you have stepped on where do you feel it from? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't you see that you've been like if, if charcoal burns your leg no, and you feel it from the head but God has told us now that if you feed them and quench their thirst you've put coals of fire on their, head, on their heads meaning whatever will happen to them they won't like it the God helps us so we can enter our place so we can enter our destinies because the devil puts all those things to hinder us from entering our place. But when God tells you that it's me who will do my vengeance, just do what he tells you. You will see and be rich and excellent of pleading to God. Because we have little time. I would have asked you, have you seen God fight a battle for you? He would have told you, and you also come to amend. When God starts to fight, he fights indeed. He fights indeed. The other thing I want to let you know, you should fight so much to see that your heart remains empty. So that God remains in your heart and fights. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. He says the things that we are supposed to fight our battles with is not of blood and blood. By it's mighty through God. Hallelujah. Amen. To overcome all. He does them when he's in inside you. So the job that we are supposed to do is to make our hearts right. Because if you don't make your heart right, the devil won't leave you with the blessing and so will God fail to so and same thing God will fail to make you so whenever you refuse to forgive someone you bind in him within your heart. Just like we said the other prayer. That forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So when God sees your heart when it's full of people that you've never forgiven, 
your stepmother is in your heart. The, the man who chucked you is still with you. Your, your friend who stole a, a husband from you. Your neighbor who laughed at you is also in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many things we put in our hearts that we never even remember some of them you cry. Hallelujah. There are even people that died. But you fail to forgive them. They're also in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But most important of it all, the person who died, who you died at, even went and buried him. But I'm here to tell you that it's not where you left him in the grave. He's in your heart. The dead are surrounding your heart. That's why you see all your things don't go through. They promise you and then they don't fulfill. Pastor Maria taught us about that. That you feel like you're going to, to hold something and then the because of the dead that are within you. But we saw a prayer that you, you can say. I say, Lord, I forgive those that I know and those that I don't know. Those that I remember and those that I don't recall. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the, the, the the grown and the young. The alive and the dead. I forgive them. I cast them off my heart. Those that died. Today, I bind them in hell. With the blood of Jesus. Those that are not born again. I pray for a blessing. Of play of salvation. And the saved. I pray a blessing of change. You pray that prayer whenever you pray. Because Matthew 18, 18 says, Whatever we shall cast free on heaven, in heaven on earth it shall be the same thing on heaven. Whenever you lose things, you say, I lose this people off my heart. All of them, the word of God gets them off your heart slowly, slowly. You end up feeling like you're getting peace. The person that you used to say and you feel your heart trembling, you realize that whenever you even find them, nothing happens. The person that you didn't want to greet, you find yourself greeting them in peace. Because the devil uses that as a trick. He tells you don't forgive them. You even find that you ask yourself, your people that you don't forgive, where are they? He puts them within your heart. To, to but whenever you pray and you say I, I lose them all the bind on my height I lose them you ask God you tell, them, you tell him give me the grace to forgive these people there are people that are very hard there are people that are hard to love but we are supposed to love them we are supposed to forgive them because that's what makes us children of God so anyone that does not forgive you not a child of God hallelujah hallelujah I've given you a testimony people that were here in the morning a pastor talked about some topic of forgiving he gave us homework and he told us go back everyone and question who have I not forgiven because they say that it's so bad not knowing and also not knowing that you don't know that was me 
When the pastor said that, I, I, I saw that uh, there's no one that I've, I've never forgiven. Uh, that are those, that's for the, those that are still new. Even when, I, when she went back home, she didn't ask. When they came back the following morning, the pastor got st stuck to the point. And he said, How many of you questioned or asked? Many raised their hands and talked. But the person that caught so much on my heart, the person that I remember, the lady rose her hand and said, May I ask God? When I slept, I came to see, I saw my heart getting out of me. And it became a path. And people started walking through from my heart. Questioning me, as you've never forgiven me, as you've never forgiven me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the woman said that she could recall literally everyone very well. The people that I fought with at school. Those that I fought with at the well. On the way. All of those. And there were very many whoever walked through the heart. Everyone she was recalling. So. Me as an ignorant, I came to realization. I said, God, I'm guilty. But help me and also reveal, reveal to me. As she was closing her eyes, she saw a vision. The woman was beating her up with fibers. They were all scratching around. That was her auntie. She used to stay in the village and we used to stay in town. In, sorry, she was born the same time, ritually. With I was ritually older than two years older than the other lady. Girl. I was in the village eating bodo, eating cassava and chicken They in the town eating, drinking milk and meat. Whenever they could come to village, the woman didn't want her kid to step the ground. The kid was already so fat. He was only two months older than her. They told me to put her on my back. So that the kid does not step on the ground. So while reaching the, the step of, of the compound, I was the first on the ground and the kid followed. The woman beat me up. She beat me up. I all got swellings and bruises. Why, the reason why the kid had fallen. But do you know the woman beating me? That she's a follower of my father. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, the, the, the parents are all dead. They are late parents. So the late mother had bought her a dress. He checked, he checked dress and had the kid cried over my dress. The same kid who had got me beating. She cried over the dress. The, the, the late grand told them, take the dress. You can give her the usual casual clothes that you stay in the town. Good enough, it's, this is village. They will look like they are new. Yet that also got her annoyed. When they, the time they did all those things, was all, it was at around 10 years. God revealing me that she was 35 years old. The devil had put all of them at heart. I hope you've come to realize something out of that. You're here rejoicing. Even <laughs>
Mukawa Evans. But Gandhi, the Kavata Kolachi. So you can also go back home and you ask God who are these people that have never forgiven you? He will show them to you. Hallelujah. Let's go for the Holy Spirit. Let's read Matthew 5. We are about to finalize. From 43. Matayo Tano, Anamu Sato. Mwaulida, Wivaga, and Biwanti, Yagaranga Munno, Ochawango Mulabeo. Nayanga Bagambanti, Mwagaranga, Valabiba, Musabiranga, Baba Yiganya. Murio Kemu Vedanga, Banabachita, Mwari Muguru. Kubanga, and Juvaya, Jakizababi, Navalunji. We say that we may say what makes us children of God. So that's what makes us children of God. Praying for our enemies and loving them. Giving them drinks and also eats. Because God, the Lord, our Father, he shines his, the sun upon the evil and the good and the same thing as rain one day she was watching news and they showed a witch who was causing rain to rain only in his compound so if, if, if a sorcerer can do that can't God do it but the same thing in the, even in the shrine. We are all surrounded literally by But they also get portions of rain because So if we are to be children of our Lord who is in heaven, we should do the will of God. We should forgive people. We should love them. Read the last line. Oluana Mweta. Lioke Mwerenga Vana Bachita Mwari Mokuru. Ochi Wulite. Ebi Ebi Tufula. Abazungu Bachita Bachita. Qualify you. Yeah. Those are things that qualify us. Okubera Vana Bachita. To be children of God. Aha. Mulioke mwerenga abana bachita mwe alimu kuru. Mm. Kuvange njuba ya jakiza wabina avalu unzi. Yes. Abatonye seze mkuba abatuki hivu na abatari batuki hivu. Mm. Kuvanga mwemuna ya garanga ababa agara. Mulina mpeirati. Mazima. Na abawoza tebakula wabatu. Mabensi. Mwemuna ala musanga baganda wa mwevoka. Mm. Muna abasinzanga wochi. Mm. Na abama wanga tebakula wabatu. Mm. Kale mwe mwerenga Hallelujah. Be righteous. As our Heavenly Father is righteous. That's what makes us children of God. The other thing you should not surpass your enemy without greeting them. Greet them. Oh, it's me that grew up chaotic. I think it's God that did that. Whenever you greet you and don't respond, the same thing even tomorrow will come and The other day I will also do the same thing. Do you know why? Have you ever seen a padlock? Don't you think that they hear? They she has to greet you. You either want it or not because you want So stick to it. Greet them. Greet them. The following day they will respond. Hallelujah. Amen. The other thing I want to talk about. We should love our enemies. We should give them food. We should give them drinks. But I alert you one thing. After forgiving the enemy, we should leave a gap. 
We leave a gap. Things should not remain the same way they used to be. When you used to take them to your bedroom. Those people take so long to change. They might even pretend like they've changed. Just they want to finish their Assuming you've forgiven someone who wanted to poison you. Now they come with pieces of chicken. And says I forgave him now we are friends we even brought them pieces of chicken you should be vigilant I don't want you to be there and be like Senga told us now our person has died you should leave always a gap and the secrets that used to tell them you should always put a halt but love them if they are in trouble help them but don't go all in Amen I know you've understood we are going to see on Christ shortly and finalize Luke 29 23 Thank you for being patient. Begin from 34. Awe Yesu na agamba antichitange basonyi we kubanga tibamanyi tibakora. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesu ya tusabide sala judisi ya jimba mwono uruyimba. Jesus said a prayer that even uh, Judith Fabri got a song from. Kubanga katonga ya lave ngedi jiba isa mumu ntuwa zoku tununula. Because God saw how we treated a person that had come to save us. Mbamu kubie kubie na ya vise ya vise. They beat him up and she all got loose. Mbamu tome de dari kumusala. They crucified him on the cross. Mbana wabi bebamu bebamu si bebamu komedele na buna wabamu vuma. They put him amidst the thieves that were also laughing at him. Others were all doing their blasphemy and spitting. Putting a crown of thorns on his head. They also pierced him. And God said, let me, let me come seize these people. I think those that read the Bible know that part where it all came to church. And God came to got a revelation as you said, I, I know my God, my Father. If he, if he wiped away all the generations of Noah, he also can wipe away these people. That's why he said this prayer. And he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So you, my friend, who, who hates upon people, is there anything they've done to you that is equivalent to what they did to God, to Jesus? Is there someone that says there's someone that says you don't know what they're talking about? They killed my chi, my child. So your hatred, anger, and uh, grateful, they bring back the child. Besides being in, in, in salvation, causing blessing in the name of Jesus. I tell you that forgive that person who did wrong to you. If you read Matthew 16, 16, Jesus is questioning the disciples that what do people call me? Others say Jeremiah, Elijah, 
It's only Peter that came and said, You called Christ the child of God. That pleased God so much, Jesus so much. He said that I've got someone who is revealed unto. And he put him aside and told him the mission, the mission that I brought him. And, and the person that they told the mission, he began to. I said, That's impossible. I can't accept that. But what amazes you about God? He knew very much the person he's talking to is Peter. But when he heard these words get out of, get out from Peter, he realized that the person I was talking to the previous minute is not this person that I'm talking to right now. There is something that has and he said to the devil, get out. Get behind me. Brethren, you should reach a point that forgive those people that are used by the devil. The person that you're hating, behind him there is something that is causing him to do that. You should help him because he's also a child of God. He's a servant of God. And God has a big mission upon his life. That's why the devil misses like takes advantage of him and becomes a sinner. So do not hate someone. Look at the devil that is behind them. We're learning DDM here. I had learned this thing from rebels. The rebels, the, the rebels where you think they are is not always where they are. For example, let me say that the rebels are this side. They will get someone who knows how to throw very well. And he throws something that falls the, towards the other side of Green Hill. When you, feel, when you hear something making noise from the side of Green Hill, you rush going to Green Hill. Even when you have a gun and shooting bullets around, yet you've left them behind you. So they come behind you slowly. And they ambush you and they beat you. Up. So that's how the, the, the DDM teacher told us the devil casts a stone. And you look where the stone has fallen. And you think that's where it is. But yet the devil is behind. So these people go, the devil uses them as a stone. And you look at the stone. Yet the devil is behind you. He's beating you day and night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for that case, Jesus. He died and forgave us. And for the sake of Peter, realize realized that there's a devil that had. So you should also come to realize these people that behind them there is a devil. Yeah, I think you should not pray for the sorcerers to die because they're also being used. The good thing we don't have stones here because Alleluia. you would have shoot at me. But they are very, very powerful pastors <laughs> who are sorcerers. Imagine what if they had died. Praise the Lord. So you should not pray for these people to die. <laughs> Because you've come to realize that it's the devil using them. It's the devil using them. The other person, we, should, we, are, we are not going to read about him, is Stephen in Acts of Apostles. Acts chapter 7, verse 50 and, and 60. They beat him up when he was free. He reached a point of dying. 
and he said go take my spirit but do not hold these people accountable for what they've done to me because he can realize that if he had died with that anger at heart of these people he wouldn't reach the kingdom of God so same to you now what if Jesus comes at this very time you're going to hell for that case my, my friend do some work in your heart amen let's end with Ephesians 4 from 30 then we we'll pray and leave this place Ephesians 4 30 so temuna kuwazanga moyo mtu kuvu waka tonda ya bate saka kabone lukutu soruna kuruo kununulibwa asa tumulumu okukaa wako na nobu sungu nobu kambwe noku kayana noku vuma biba venga ku awamu netimari ona era mubirenga nobu lumi era mubirenga nobu lunji mwekana mweka Aba kwa tibuwe chisa Nga muso nyi wagananga Inanga katonda Bwe ya baso nyi wamukristo Haleluya Emerundi mingi tunakuwa zizo umoyo wamukama Many times you've called the Holy Spirit of God Wanga yesu kwa ya tulekira Because it's what Jesus left us with Nga kutamba sonyi wamanango Soguloku yingira magenda gungato kidiza And he tells you forgive for you to enter your destiny And then you fail to accept Sonyi wamanango soguloku yingira mukisa gungato kidiza Forgive so you can enter your blessing But you still refuse Bambi yungu na kuwazanga wendo judo gukawu Because you filled yourself with grief and anger Ngo judo yonabiyo nebi viva so Bitterness, malice, and all these other things. But down there they've said, let us forgive one another. So we can be all good with one another. Just as God forgave us. So I request you as, my, as we are going to pray. You're going to forgive we are going to use like 10 minutes and repeat before God we are going to kneel on our knees because we will repent because we delayed ourselves in a journey you say that I'll, 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 I'll venge this person till my last breath whether I go to hell, let me go. You should not pray for that of your soul. Let's pray. Let's pray. Na <laughs> Tulina betuwa saliru omusango, tulina betuwa sitaza, tusabie sala ni tugamba, antitusonyi wengana, fewe tusonyi waba tuunona, mwakama katunda anginga chila ganti, fetuwa galo tusonyi we, na yefo kusonyi waba langa chitule mie, na urecho mwakama tujia maso konga tuene nyobu talibu tukiribubwa na wetu tambuli demu mwakama ni tunakuwa zomu uye wa katunda kuwa tulekera. Tusonyi we katonda tula mbuta kwa o O tunaze no musayu kwa tuverava sani la mkama katonda inzevi intubi huna Luku hati lwe chisa kubanga mnange Te wali wa sogola tu ya mbanga kwa tutu ya ambie Te wali wa sogola tuta asanga kwa tutu ta asinza mkama Kubanga tu chitekedelu waliro Nti emave gagaba antuabu Evera yo setani ya wakoze saa Ngate chigedelu wacha setani Kuleme safe kubako we tutuka 
kuleme safe kukula kwa gala kukuleme safe kubera bana bakatonda ngane miti majafetu na muwandi tude ngomubi ya teka mumi o ye mivinga ya jivata jifugira mu ebe vya nabia nabia natu vye ni ya omoyo mtu kubatu huli lidebanga deni na ine tuleme rako mkama katonda wangetu sasire tukwa tiluwe chisra mkama katonda kwa tula mbuta kwa wo nzene chivina chinocho na mkama pena tulina abatu nyiza mwana ye pete do wamugamba nchino tusanyue mirundi insambo au kutuse mirundi mosambo na imo kama fengaba na baba tute tusobola tete tusobola mkama katonda wange tete batu kia jole nga tukwega hili na mkama katonda wange oruomu oyomu tukubumuna ngo tukwati duwe chiso tuwe chise chiso njiwa bata sonyi kika otuwe chise chagala bata ya gali kika mkama katonda inze bintu vya nasebu sasilo sonyi uo mkono kubwa mani kutuwe tolole chiti wache chituwe tolole ingalo ya tuwe tolole mkama haba mtu badetu sula tukaba nga budule tujukila wetu tasoma nga tata ya gano kusasula sukuru fizi omasike ya siki Kira ovugaga wa chitoa woyagano kusa suli la sukuru fizi baadhi wa revivanja biyewa mwe biyona biyona katingola ba bolimbera joi tamu yeye jireita ai katonda angoto sasa sile kwa ngana ngo ndio mkuamo nsoni kwa mukama chita geta to monto ya ya tunda mataka gona na gedi zana gawa ba na we msoni wa msongolo la kumoti maguangi msibire magombe ai mukama katonda wange waliwa mukama haba kusewa kuluwa ba se ba se Sezala ni banya zala, waliwa ba kusebwa kuluwa ba step maza, waliwa ba kusebwa kuluwa ba jaba we, waliwa ba kusebwa kuluwa mikuano jaba we, abawala na balenzi, ngaba bono ni ramakaga, we ba bono ni rogo fumbo, abalala ba ba gobe sakumi rimu, katonda inze bintu bina tu sani watu sasire, tu sasire mukama katonda mwe sibwa, waliwa mchala anga yani gira ba we, ni waba wono mami anga yani gira mchala we. Mukama wana baba kome kumu kama gasinka ne baso gole mukama ukuchewa nzigo kila wali wamu sumba dio swali yarito mchala na agambo mchala nchi nzom saje yuli chango la nchi wandi kama katabo na agambo kubira dalami ya kaje china na mbadlembi wandi kwa eria ba kazi zavalinga ba mukama lingo yomukama na baba tasa mukama abana baso mana bonga bani vo abazade bali na baba soko kusa suli la sukuru fizi ba baba sambia yo abona Bunga bani kamungeri ya bumo kama sonyi wasasira walua bana ngaba zade ba bumba ba sosora mukama sasira yeba tukole demu kani samu kama ai katonda angi sasira watu ambole mukama katonda angi budi moyo mubi kuno gubadde gua ingiri la mulojio lorobo ta sonyi wa mumani ne mafuta gomo moyo mchoko wa omuntu wa yego ta sonyi wa bobo mudiukira mwatu la maniage omugambe gundi ku sonyi wa kusomo la Kumu chema guange, muga mbenti abala muna ba famba sonyi wa, mba sonyi wa mba sisi mulula kumu chema guange, abala famba sivi re magombe, abaka zina ba sonyi mba sonyi wa, abala nzina ba wala abaka dina ba cho, ba na mba sonyi wa baloko le na ba chali baloko le, mba sonyi wa mba sisi mulula kumu chema guange, muri nyali amukamu wa fiesa, era mba sivi romu kisa, abala chali baloko le guo kulo kuka, abala baloko le guo kuchusi ba muri nyali amukamu wa fiesa. Songa na wakatondo mla mo, tata tu kuati rochi swa, watu simurule, muri nyali ya Yesu, katira mnange yonge roji musedo bozirio, wenye nyena wekuwa boboni ziza. Tuwa bantunga na fe tuwa baniza, unga tuwa baniza, muri nyali ya Yesu, unga na fe watu sivi na komiti maja we, boga pe boka mwanzo nywe, orwa bantu abo benda niza, ababa sivi na komiti maja we, boga pe boka mwanzo sabo kome komiti maja we, mwanzo nywe, mwanzo sabo kome komiti maja we, mwanzo simulule, muri nyali ya boka mwa fe Yesu, mwana wa katendo mla mu, tata mwanzo nywe, orwa bantu bana boka mwa chita gebe pisi zogo we, abo bana bana we. Ni zuzamu kama mukama katondo mwe sigua nene nia nsa siro nsoni we mukama katondo mwe sigua nsa siro nsoni wako me kumi tima ya we ban nsoni we wako me kumi tima ya we ban semo lule moli nyeri ya mukama wa feyeso nsa wolo kuwele zaka siri kocha kuni nyeziwa le kumu kono gogo netole mani ne mafuta gogo yamu chukovu kaviri la katonda mukwano guange mugabeti mna gomuti magunomba desmani timotula na yoruare nungu 
kuwa mukama chitange mukole mu mulimu omoyo mutu kubunkola mu mulimu mu matima gwange omoyo mutu kubunkola mu mulimu mu ndowoza yange omoyo mutu kubunkola mu mulimu mu moyo gwange ne mobili gwange ne mbokubera ngabo mukama chitange tata be wawaye disitali bayigo butamanga nsabunyambe omoyo mutu kubukoma mu bulamu gwange ayika tondo mula mutu bodde mu ntebe yo tuba mu ntebe yo kubango gambi nti kuwala na siko ku kuwala na kuko katonda yizye bintu byonna tukukola koma wo monango tule mu ntebe yo koma wo tule mu chima ya fe monange koma wo tule ayi katondo muyinza we bintu byonna tulangiride chitibwa chono mukono ko na manyigo tadi ko kukobola moyo wa katonda ya tule mu gwe mogambo moyo wa katonda jango tule mu nze jango tule mu motima kwange monange jango tase monange jango simulule kubanga monange nino kutuka wa wa kanirwa nino kutuka wa te santoke nino kuyingira mu kisa kwange nino kuyingira magenda gange omwereza kwange obade kwa kwatibwa katonda yize bintu byonna leka butebwe manyine mafuta go moyo mutukovo tukwanirizo moyo wa katonda ko moyo wa katonda tulambula mu bwafe otukomeze wo budde bonno obade butuyiseko tukomeze we kisane tisa yo mukama tukomeze we kisa tukomeze we kisa waliwo betu badde twesonyi wo bwesonyi na yolwa lero tuwe kisa echi basonyi radala muri nyeria yeso omwana wa Alleluia Tandi kukusaba Ngosa zambuli plani ya mubiyo na Nimiri na kubigerebio Ogene ngosa zambuli plani ya mubiyo na Ya wade ya keka kumula mungo Gagamba toli baku wotuka Oja kuberanga ungo juki la viva kukula Oberenga wesi nide mchipo chingo Na yoru walelo tusa zambuli plani za mubiyo na Tuzambula manji nobu kuzi Tuzambula obu yenza Tuwangula molinyari ya yeso Kubange chizari wakatunda Chiwangule nse Tuwangula vyo nemi vademi tuwangula Molinyari ya mkama wafe yeso Tulangiri dechi chivacho No mkono go na manji go Bila misigo kubula mu wafe Mkama katundo mwenza webi tu vyo na Tukikeka mafuta Tuwe chisa yeso Eche chakule tilo kutusonyiwa Mkulu ni obunji na petu chetaga molinyeri ya mkama wafe yesu kulisto umwana wakatondo umwana matusabye mechukiriza amina kubira kumu yo wa mkama ingaliza amani haleluya tugenda kuwa yo mnyumba ya mkama we're going to be in the house of the lord wate chiwe buwa yocho hold your offering we give in and leave this place. Pastors and intercessors. We are going to stick behind shortly for like five minutes. Those who are going to leave the house mubulamuwa Tumuyengira tuliva tembe muli nyeri ya mukama wafe yeso Era tusazza mburi pulani yonomo vijia wada panga Okutute kake na kwe tako Okutute kako kule meribu kutakuma Na yetu kilizanti vyo na uruwalelo vimazo kufawo tuliva wangu ze No kuchira o era tuyengide mukisa wa Ibrahim Isaac na Yakobo Era mkwano kwa yenga tuwa mchipochi na ukuda ye waka Mkama tuwe kwe kawansi wa musa ye guono mkono kubwa mani kutuetu Tuwe 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 tuwe
Kuruakiro, Savavana Bakusa, Eron and Yabuli Muri, Nahmuri, Eria, Yabata, Yabata, Yingirite, Erode, Tom Kamo, Kukula, Kula, no Quenjauro, Nabata, Wade, Yomukama, Nabova, Samuli, Yam Kama, Fiesto, Omuru, Yokudako, Namba Solo, Wayera, Sumuru, Dom, Savai, Prime, Isa, Kanyako, Kula, Mugabu, Sachin, No, No, Kuabu, Kuenini, Gova, Teki, Kira, No Kuange, Era, No Kuwa, Yokuwa, Jijani, Jabuta, Kuanga, Kuwa, Katonda, Nabungo, Simuru, De, Pekwesi, Wasu, Sai, Kupriso, Yesu, Savie, Amina, Jango, We, We are going to say that prayer, that prayer that will remind us to forgive. The time that we prayed for it was not been, it's not been enough. But this whole week read those scriptures. Just the Holy Spirit will continue to reveal to you and pray and uh, get out of bondage. There are the people, there are things there, those people that you annoy. Those you, some you know them, others you don't know them. But also repent on behalf of those that you annoyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise our hands. Tuwemelea <laughs> Amina. Hallelujah. Amen. Go and overcome. Let this week be a blessed week. And the whole month as well. You should not forget praying for the nation. The nation is the place where you put food. Whatever you pray at your church, you put it on your plate, Uganda. So if you don't pray for your plate and it breaks, that's not God's fault. 